sir, Sparks reports the cargo plane is right on schedule. Have them maintain a steady directional beam for the plane. Aye, sir. Ethel. Yes, it is. It's Ethel Sharkey. Doc! Doc Bradley, how are you, old son of a gun? Well, this is hard to believe. It's been, well, let's forget how many years. I heard there was a civilian bomb expert aboard, but I never figured that the squinty little four eight. Yeah. You son of a gun, how are you? <laughs> Bye. I uh, take it you two know each other. Know each other? We were kids together on the Lower East Side. We grew up together. And to think that Ethel Sharkey grew up to be a CPO in the CPO. Listen, look at Ethel Sharkey. Uh, Ethelbert. Oh. Francis Ethelbert Sharkey. Yes, sir. That blip, sir, looks like a sub to me. Get a reading. It's 200 -O yards southwest. It's moving fast. Definitely a sub, sir. Unidentified craft underwater, 2,000 yards southwest. A submarine? I thought we had a whole line of picket ships around the area. We have, Doctor, but there's a big ocean. Sparks, contact that submarine. Request immediate recognition code. Also, alert the picket ships. Aye, sir. Stand by the sound general quarters. Chief, your reunion will have to wait. Report to station. Aye, sir. Talk to you later. We're on a rendezvous course to pick up a top secret cesium-7 bomb from that plane. An unidentified sub shows up. Coincidence? I doubt it. Captain, heavy concussion. Underwater ship to air missile. Battle stations, battle stations. The target must be our cargo plane. If that cesium bomb explodes, half the world will be gone. Missiles on intercept course of the plane, sir. Impact imminent. The blips are gone, sir. Must have been a direct hit. The bomb. Dive. All dive. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Starring Richard Basehart. David Pettison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. SM7, we're going to go. We'd be wiped out by now. And still out there somewhere. Patterson, did you get a fix on the impact point? Well, as near as I can figure, Captain, the plane must have hit the water about six miles north-northwest. Take her up to 90 feet. And proceed north-northwest at flank speed. Aye, sir. Up bubble five degrees, level off at 90 feet. Come to course 070. Engineering, give us flank speed. Aye, sir. But we've got to locate that bomb. The electrolytic action of the seawater will activate the firing mechanism. How much time do we have? Not more than four hours. Better activate the electronic scanning devices. Activate all electronic detection devices. Aye, sir. Let's see if we can spot the wreckage from the observation nose. Kowalski, have you located that zombie? No, sir, I haven't found it yet. It's like it disappeared. We have just three and a half hours to find it and stop it. Well, you're the Allied Defense Commission bomb expert. Can you do it? Well, I'm not sure, but if I can't, we'll find it for you. You disarm it. Or any further contact with that sub? No, sir. No further reports from Sonar. They've probably left the area. Why not? They did their job. That cesium bomb could have been the greatest deterrent to war we've come up with yet. Well, it, it still may be if we can carry out the original plan. Get it aboard Seaview and then take it to our underwater defense complex. Well, if we can't, this part of the world will be gone. And the 
There's no way to get clear if she explodes. None. Well, the average depth of this water is 800 feet. Can you make the dive and deactivate at that depth? I can stand it if your diving gear can. With our anti-compression oxygen. Take it, Cam. Unidentified object on bottom, dead ahead, Admiral. Could be the bomb. All stop. There it is. Admiral, it's already activated. Positioned directly over the bomb, 700 feet. Level off at 700 feet and hold directly over the bomb. Well, I'm ready to go out, Admiral. I need one man to assist. Oh, what about, uh... What about Shaki? Ethel? Can't think of a better man. Let's go. Skipper, that sub's in the moving and approaching aft. 505 yards and closing fast. Sparks, try to contact that sub. Aye, sir. Activate aft camera, telescopic lens. Aye, sir. Vulcan? What country is that? Give me a check on submarine Vulcan. Nationality unknown. General quarters. Missile room. Stand by to load missiles. Aye, aye, aye. The International Marine Registry shows no listing for a submarine Vulcan anywhere in the world. All ahead flank. 20 degrees starboard rudder. We can't leave the bomb. Now it'll explode. Look at city. Duck care. We have to maintain maneuverability. Torpedo is approaching astern. All ahead full. Hard right rudder. Return fire. Missile room. Ready torpedoes one and two. Aye, sir. Load two. Torpedoes approaching astern. Left, full rudder. is burned off. How long to make repairs? Can't tell, sir. Looks like a major job. Where's that sub? Sonar shorted out, sir. I can't track her. Hydrophone? It's out too, sir. Get him repaired on the devil. We've got to get a fix on that sub before it attacks again. Oh, yes, sir. Get work details working on the circuitry. Forget the minor hull damage. Right. Doesn't look good, does it? But, uh, we've been in worse fixes. Yes, but if they attack again, we can't retaliate. With the circuitry out, we can't fire missiles. I'm not as concerned about that right now as I am about the bomb. You still willing to go down for it? Of course. Good. Launch the flying sub and find the Vulcan. I don't care how you do it, but keep it busy so we can get back to the bomb. Right, sir. Well, Commander, Sea View is apparently motionless in the water. Shall we finish her off now? What for? Obviously, she cannot fire back, or she would have done so by now. No, I'd rather capture than destroy her. I'll alert a boarding party, sir. There's always time for those lesser details, Commander. Lesser, sir? The sea view would be a great prize to take back to our homeland. With one exception. Or have you forgotten our primary objective? The cesium bomb. Exactly. 
We've succeeded in bringing it down. We've disabled the sea view. Now all that's left is to find the bomb and bring it on board. Then we shall return for the sea view. Very well, sir. All ahead standard. Come to course 147. And prepare the search for the Sussium bomb. Yes, sir. Everything okay? All flying subs checked out, ready for launch. Good. Now, we'll buy enough time for you to get down to that bomb. And y'all don't uh, tangle with the Vulcan. You have no weapons heavy enough. Just try to keep her busy. Right, well done. All right, Doctor, might as well get you suited up and ready for your dive. Head to launch. Aye, sir. Launch. Aye, sir. Mr. Badim, Seaview has just launched a miniature sub. Probably a flying submarine. What's her course? Two, three, zero. All the course, two, three, zero. You're going to follow her? Of course. Flying sub is ideal for landing alongside the bomb and disarming it. All the course, increase speed to flight. Very well, sir. Trying to check out that lung. Control to missile room. Hydrophone's operative again. We picked up the Vulcan. She's trailing the flying sub. What's the position of the bomb? Approximately three miles to the northeast, sir. We'll come about and head for it at flank speed. Aye, aye, sir. Looks like it's working, Skipper. That must be the Vulcan trailers. Our trail, all right. You go to flank speed and make a run for it? No. We'll hold it one third and start a search pattern. That'll pull the Vulcan away from the bomb area. I get a skipper. We'll make the Vulcan believe we're searching for the bomb ourselves. That's the idea. I was just thinking, skipper. We won't be able to keep her fool forever. Just long enough to let the Seaview pick up that bomb. Well, what if we can't keep her fooled? And she goes after the Seaview again. Then we'll go after the Vulcan. Skipper, we've got no weapons aboard to attack that sub with. They'll blow us out of the water. I know, Kowalski, but those are our orders. Keep the Vulcan occupied no matter what. Yes, sir. That's the Sessian bomb. You know, Doc, going out on this dive with you takes me back to the good old days. Remember when we used to go diving into the East River, huh? I sure do. Only this time it's a little more important than picking up bottles of pieces of metallic junk for the few cents that we could sell them for. Sure is. Now listen, about this bomb, what are we gonna be in for? Well, it's got three deterrent devices on it. Here, hold on to this. We may need it for the second fuse. Oh, that's a pretty rugged contraption we'll be fooling around with, huh? Highly sophisticated. Almost human in its sensitivity. The word is handle with care. Control room to Admiral. We have a fix on the cesium bar. All right, let's have it. 200 yards off the port bow. It's still at 800 foot depth. Good. All stop. Hold trim. Aye, aye, sir. Set? Yes, sir. Ready to go. I will keep in radio contacts. Good luck. Thank you, sir.
What's the course and distance on that flying submarine? Zero eight zero at a thousand yards. And we've been tricked. Sir? That's from our agent aboard the Sea View, the homing device he has with him. His orders were to activate it as soon as they've located the bomb. But the flying submarine? We've been decoyed. Prepare laser beam for immediate firing. Yes, sir. Prepare laser beam to fire. Yes, sir. Cause 080 all ahead flank. We'll blow that flying sub out of the water. Bradley calling the sea view. We're at the bomb now. The firing mechanism's already activated. There's no way of telling how long we have until blast time. Can you reverse it, Bradley? I don't know, but we'll start deactivation. We might as well. There's no place any of us can run to now. Seems like we're doing all right, Skipper. Mm -hmm. Any particular course you want set now? No, no. We'll, uh, we'll just keep our regular search pattern going. <sighs> See if you should have found the bomb by now. Dr. Bradley will... Baldwin's starting to close in, sir. And that flank speed. Looks like our time as a decoy is about over. Did we try to outrun her, sir? No. We'll still try to stall for time. Yes, sir. Mr. Vadim. We're closing in on the flying submarine rapidly, sir. What's our distance? 400 yards. Lock in your sights. Yes, sir. Lock in your laser beams. Yes, sir. 250 yards, sir. That'll do nicely. Fire. Fire! Gear. If we can get the bomb off Bradley, he still might be able to prevent detonation. What about the flying sub? No track on her, sir. The last fix indicated that she was heading for the bottom. Spark, see if you can contact the flying sub. Aye, sir. Where's Vulcan? She's come to a dead stop, sir. Approximately over the position where the flying sub went down. I can't 
Budget. Chief, Bradley, a hoist gear is coming down to you. We'll get the bomb aboard Seaview and the two of you make it up here on the double. Sharky, here it comes. Grab it. Oh, we've got the hoist, sir. I'll signal when it's attached. And don't worry about the dock. I'll uh, have them aboard in no time. with a laser beam. <coughs> Everything's out. <laughs> FS1 to Seaview. FS1 to Seaview, do you read me? Over. FS1 to Seaview. We're getting through, give us a signal. Repeat, if you read us, give us a signal. The radio's dead. He must have found us and sent the bell down. I keep waiting. Come on. yourselves to be guests of the submarine Vulcan. We still have the bond to worry about. I thought you defused it. Only one control. There's still two more. The electrolytic action of the seawater is still affecting it. If it continues, we've only got minutes to deactivate it. We have the crew of the Seaview Flying Submarine, Mr. Vadim. Captain Crane and Seaman Kowalski. Welcome aboard, Captain. Being shot down and taken prisoner at the point of a gun is not my idea of a welcome. What country are you serving? That is of no consequence. What does concern us is the cesium bomb. I would like your assistance in convincing Admiral Nelson that any resistance is useless. That's something I have no intention of giving you. I think I'll change your mind. Look here. Here are the relative positions of the Vulcan and the Sea View. The sea view is helpless to fire upon us. While we, as you know, have more than enough firepower to destroy her. But you won't. What makes you think that? They must have the Cesium-7 aboard by now. If you destroy the sea view, the bomb goes with it. That means that you and the Vulcan will go too. I wouldn't hesitate a moment if it meant keeping the bomb out of your country's possession. That's your choice. Mine is to keep quiet. 
How about you, sailor? Are you willing to give your life for so unimportant a request? You heard the skipper. I'm with him. They're doing something with the bomb, sir. Obviously trying to deactivate it. We'll have to change our plans. Take them to the brig. We'll get to them later when we have more time. Unnecessary exertion, gentlemen. Take them away. Sharky's already deactivated this fuse control. Now, two more. One up here on the casing, your other behind this little plate. We have to defuse both of them. We do. All right, let's get started. Sharky, let's have the diffusing tool. Sure. Now, we have to take it easy on these two. One slip, one jar, and off she goes. Admiral, this is Morton. Would you come to the control room, please? Oh, good. Tell him, tell him I can't make it, Chief. Commander, this is Chief Sharky. The Admiral is working on the bomb. He can't possibly make it up there right now. Chief, tell the Admiral it's vitally urgent that he gets up here. If he doesn't, nothing he does with a bomb will make any difference. All right, you take over, Sharky. I'll help you. I'll be right back. There's no doubt about it, sir. The Vulcan's coming toward us at flank speed. Maintain a fix on her. Hi, sir. Sparks, are you still getting that frequency? Yes, sir. It's difficult to break down, but it's there, all right. Keep trying to pin it down. Yes, sir. What's the trouble, sir? Two things. Vulcan's coming toward us at flank speed. I've thrown out anti-sonar and anti-hydrophone barriers, but she's coming straight at us as though she had eyes. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's the other thing? Sparks has picked up a high-frequency beam, similar to a homing device. I think the Vulcan's coming in on it. And a, a beam from Seaville? Yes, sir. Well, what's the location? All he knows is it's somewhere aft. It activated about the time we brought the bomb aboard. Mm-hmm. Well, let's check this out. Sparks, you sure about that frequency? There's no doubt about it, sir. It doesn't make sense, sir. Well, it does if Vulcan was able to plant a homing device aboard Seaview. But when could they have done it? I don't know when. Or how. The important thing is that it's here, and it's directing Vulcan toward us. Any chance of uh, jamming that frequency? Well, I have to modify equipment. Possibly in an hour or so I could do it. No, no, not enough time. What about our missile firing capacity? Well, it's still working on the burned-out secretary. Any word from flying, sir? No, sir. Try to contact Vulcan. I'll speak to whoever's in command. Aye, sir. SS NRC view calling Vulcan. SS NRC view calling Vulcan. Admiral Nelson wishes to speak with your commanding officer. Over. SSNR Seaview calling the submarine Vulcan. Over. SSNR Seaview calling Vulcan. Admiral Nelson requests permission to speak with your commanding officer. Over. I think I should talk to the good Admiral, huh? This is Mr. Vadim of the Vulcan. Good to talk to you at long last, Admiral. You're approaching us at flank speed. What are your intentions, Mr. Vadim? Simplicity itself. I intend to take the cesium bomb. There'll be no bomb, nor see you, nor Vulcan. If you don't let us get on and deactivate it. Come, come, Admiral. That's the oldest gambit in the world. If that bomb were going to go off, it would have done it long before this. It's activated now. 
by less than 15 minutes before it explodes. And I don't believe you, Admiral. I am preparing a boarding party. I tell you, the bomb is going to explode. Now, will you veer off and let us deactivate it? Fifteen minutes, you say? That's right. Very well. You shall have your time. I will recontact you then. Shall I reduce speed, sir? Certainly not. Continue on course. When we reach 500 yards, open fire with a laser beam. You don't believe him, sir? Not for a moment. The Admiral's no fool. He's merely stalling for time so he can repair his missile systems and attack us. Prepare the laser gun. Prepare laser beam. Prepare laser beam, yes, sir. Call your distance. 600 yards. 550 yards. 500 yards. Fire. setting off the bomb by electronic impulse. our condition. Power's out in all engines. Reactor control's damaged. Hull and circuitry A-OK. -okay. Well, our friends aboard the Vulcan are apparently proceeding according to plan. Stand by to repel borders. Now hear this. All hands to battle stations. Prepare to repel borders. All hands to battle stations. Prepare to repel borders. What about communications? Oh, they're operating normally, sir. Any word yet from Captain Crane? Negative, sir. How about that uh, homing signal? Do you have any idea where it's coming from? Well, you can listen for yourself, sir. I'm not quite sure, but if I had to make a guess, I'd say it was coming from the missile room. Position, Mr. Zane. 400 yards astern, 700 feet above the sea view. And her condition? Lying dead on the bottom, sir. Very satisfactory. Come to a dead stop. We shall allow Admiral Nelson a few moments to assess his helpless position, and then we shall recontact. All stop. Neutral buoyancy. Neutral buoyancy, sir. You know, Mr. Zane. I have a feeling our assignment is coming to an end. Within the hour, the cesium bomb and the sea view shall be ours. How's it going? We still have two devices to defuse, and we've only got about 18 minutes to do it. So that's on the optimistic side. Chief, start searching this room for a homing device. Homing device? There's a high frequency beam that's leading the Vulcan to us. Sparks think it's coming from this area. Now look for the transmitter and find it. Oh, yes, sir. All right, you two men have heard the ammo. Cover that area. Ray Ron, come with me. Sergeant. 
solid steel. No way out except through that door. Then that's the way we'll have to leave. That's fine with me, Skipper. Just give me an idea how we wangle it. Well, if they won't let us out, maybe we can invite someone in. said it was a neutralizing gimmick for the bomb. Hey, Doc. You, you, you couldn't be... You're working... Who are you? I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe it. It doesn't matter now. The bomb does. Now, give me a hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Help! Help! Come on, let us out of here! Help! Here he comes now! Stop the steam! Come on, let's get out of here! Need minutes.
should be something in here we could use, Skipper. All right. Now look for dynamite, explosives, TNT, anything you can find that we can disable this sub. Right. There's nothing here, Skipper. Except some grenades. Maybe they'll work for us. Keep looking. If we can find an explosive compound of some kind... You, what do you want in the armory? I'm looking for some special gear for the boarding party. Would hurry, you're assigned to my detail and we're getting ready to shove off. Be right with you. Is pin. This thing may still go off. It's still a chance we have to take. Now put it in there. All right. Now I'm going to throw this grenade in the corridor. If it explodes, there's still a chance we can get away from here. And I'll hit the deck. It works, sir. We have much time. They'll be looking for these men. Come on. Hey, take these masks. And some of these gas grenades. If we move fast enough, there's still a chance we can give Mr. Vadim a little trouble. Sea View, this is the Vulcan. Admiral Nelson, we are preparing to board the Sea View. Stand by for boarding party. Michael, you too. Nice. Hold us on. I've told you before, this bomb is activated. Only got six minutes left before it explodes. I still don't believe you. Then you're welcome to join your man Bradley and the rest of us in, in, in eternity when it goes. We're still going to proceed. Any show of resistance on your part and we shall kill our two prisoners, Captain Crane and Seaman Kowalski. You are a fool. If you want to save all of our lives, then lay off till we get this under control. That's all. Damage control reports that torpedo firing circuitry is partially repaired. We can launch manually now. All right, 
get, get a fix on the Vulcan and prepare for immediate firing. I said get a fix on the Vulcan and prepare for immediate firing. I know Lee and Kowalski are aboard. We have no other choice. Now prepare for firing. All right, sir. Ron, Phil, Ray. Sir, maybe we could find some way to... Uh... There's no way! Get busy. Yes. Shall we proceed, sir? Of course. Have the boarding party stand by and scuba gear with underwater explosives. We'll blow the hatch and move in. Let's find some scuba gear and get out of here. Torpedoes ready to fire, sir. Fine coordinates? Yes, sir. The Vulcan's only 300 yards away. The concussion of the hits is liable to... Look, I don't care what it does. We have only minutes left. Fire! Nice. Fire one. Fire two. Rescue diving party, see if you can find Crane Kowalski. Yes. Mission accomplished, Admiral. Request permission to return aboard. Over. <laughs> permission granted, with pleasure. reports the cargo plane is right on schedule. Have them maintain a steady directional beam for the plane. Aye, sir. Ethel. Yes, it is. It's Ethel Sharkey. 
Doc! Doc Bradley, how are you, you old son of a gun? Well, this is hard to believe. It's been, well, let's forget how many years. I heard there was a civilian bomb expert aboard, but I never figured that the squinty little four eight. Yeah. You son of a gun, how are you? <laughs> Bye. I uh, take it you two know each other. Know each other? We were kids together on the Lower East Side. We grew up together. And to think that Ethel Sharkey grew up to be a CPO on the CPO. <laughs> Ethel Sharkey. Uh, Ethelbert. Oh. Francis Ethelbert Sharkey. Yes, sir. That blip, sir, looks like a sub to me. Get a reading. It's two o double o yards southwest. It's moving fast. Definitely a sub, sir. Unidentified craft underwater, two thousand yards southwest. A submarine. I thought we had a whole line of picket ships around the area. We have, Doctor, but there's a big ocean. Sparks, contact that submarine. Request immediate recognition code. Also, alert the picket ships. Aye, sir. Stand by the sound general quarters. Chief, your reunion will have to wait. Report to station. Aye, sir. Talk to you later. We're on a rendezvous course to pick up a top secret cesium-7 bomb from that plane. An unidentified sub shows up. Coincidence? I doubt it. Captain, heavy concussion. Underwater ship to air missile. Battle stations, battle stations. The target must be our cargo plane. If that cesium bomb explodes, half the world will be gone. Missiles on intercept course of the plane, sir. Impact imminent. The blips are gone, sir. Must have been a direct hit. The bomb. Dive. All dive. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Starring Richard Basehart. David Pedersen. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Cesium-7, we're going to go. We'd be wiped out by now. And still out there somewhere. Patterson, did you get a fix on the impact point? Well, as near as I can figure, Captain, the plane must have hit the water about six miles north-northwest. Take her up to 90 feet. Proceed north-northwest at flank speed. Aye, sir. Up above five degrees, level off at 90 feet. Come to course 070. Engineering, give us flank speed. Aye, sir. We've got to locate that bomb. The electrolytic action of the seawater will activate the firing mechanism. How much time do we have? Not more than four hours. Better activate the electronic scanning devices. Activate all electronic detection devices. Aye, sir. Let's see if we can spot the wreckage from the observation nose. Kwaski, have you located that zombie? No, sir, I haven't found it yet. It's like it disappeared. Just three and a half hours to find it and stop it. Well, you're the Allied Defense Commission bomb expert. Can you do it? Well, I'm not sure, but if I can't... Well, we'll find it for you. You disarm it. Or any further contact with that sub? No, sir. No further reports from Sonar. They've probably left the area. Why not? They did their job. That cesium bomb could have been the greatest deterrent to war we've come up with yet. Well, it, it still may be if we can carry out the original plan. Get it aboard Seaview and then take it to our underwater defense complex. Well, if we can't, this part of the world will be gone. And there's no way to get clear if she explodes. None. Well, the average depth of this water is 800 feet. Can you make the dive and deactivate at that depth? I can stand it if your diving gear can. 
with our anti-compression oxygen. Take it, Cam. Unidentified object on bottom, dead ahead, Admiral. Could be the bomb. All stop. There it is. Admiral, it's already activated. Positioned directly over the bomb, 700 feet. Level off at 700 feet and hold directly over the bomb. Well, I'm ready to go out, Admiral. I need one man to assist. Oh, what about, uh... What about Shaki? Ethel? Can't think of a better man. Let's go. Skipper, that sub's in the move again, approaching aft. 505 yards and closing fast. Sparks, try to contact that sound. Aye, sir. Activate aft camera, telescopic lens. Aye, sir. Vulcan? What country is that? Give me a check on submarine Vulcan. Nationality unknown. General quarters. Missile room. Stand by to load missiles. Aye, aye. The International Marine Registry shows no listing for a submarine Vulcan anywhere in the world. All ahead flank. 20 degrees starboard rudder. We can't leave the bomb. Now it'll explode. The city duck here. We have to maintain maneuverability. Torpedo is approaching astern. All ahead full. Hard right rudder. Missile room. Ready torpedoes one and two. Aye, sir. Load two. Torpedoes approaching astern. Left full rudder. mechanism is burned off. How long to make repairs? Can't tell, sir. Looks like a major job. Where's that sub? Sonar showed it out, sir. I can't track her. Hydrophone? It's out too, sir. Get him repaired on the devil. We've got to get a fix on that sub before it attacks again. Oh, sir. Check. Get work details working on the circuitry. Forget the minor hull damage. Right. Doesn't look good, does it? But uh, we've been in worse fixes. Yes, but if they attack again, we can't retaliate. With the circuitry out, we can't fire missiles. I'm not as concerned about that right now as I am about the bomb. You still willing to go down for it? Of course. Good. Launch the flying sub and find the Vulcan. I don't care how you do it, but keep it busy so we can get back to the bomb. Right, sir. Well, Commander? Sea view is apparently motionless in the water. Shall we finish her off now? What for? Obviously, she cannot fire back, or she would have done so by now. No, I'd rather capture than destroy her. I'll alert a boarding party, sir. There's always time for those lesser details, Commander. Lesser, sir? The sea view would be a great prize to take back to our homeland. With one exception. Or have you forgotten our primary objective? The cesium bomb. Exactly. We've succeeded in bringing it down. We've disabled the sea view. Now all that's left is to find the bomb and bring it on board. Then we shall return for the sea view. Very well, sir. All ahead standard. 
Come to chorus one, four, seven. And prepare the search for the cesium bomb. Yes, sir. Everything okay? All flying subs checked out, ready for launch. Good. Now, we'll buy enough time for you to get down to that bomb. And y'all don't uh, tangle with the Vulcan. You have no weapons heavy enough. Just try to keep her busy. Right, well done. All right, Doctor, might as well get you suited up and ready for your dive. Prepare to launch. Aye, sir. Launch. Aye, sir. Mr. Badim, CBU has just launched a miniature sub. Probably a flying submarine. What's her course? Two, three, zero. All the course, two, three, zero. You're going to follow her? Of course. Flying sub is ideal for landing alongside the bomb and disarming it. All the course, increase speed to flight. Very well, sir. Ronnie, check out that lung. Control to missile room. Hydrophone's operative again. We picked up the Vulcan. She's trailing the flying sub. What's the position of the bomb? Approximately three miles to the northeast, sir. We'll come about and head for it at flank speed. Aye, aye, sir. Looks like it's working, Skipper. That must be the Vulcan trailers. Our trail, all right. We go to flank speed and make a run for it? No. We'll hold it one third and start a search pattern. That'll pull the Vulcan away from the bomb area. I get a skipper. We'll make the Vulcan believe we're searching for the bomb ourselves. That's the idea. I was just thinking, skipper. We won't be able to keep her fooled forever. Just long enough to let the sea view pick up that bomb. But what if we can't keep her fooled? And she goes after the sea view again. Then we'll go after the Vulcan. Skipper, we've got no weapons aboard to attack that sub with. They'll blow us out of the water. I know, Kowalski, but those are our orders. Keep the Vulcan occupied no matter what. Yes, sir. Bob. You know, Doc, going out on this dive with you takes me back to the good old days. Remember when we used to go diving into the East River? Huh? I sure do. Only this time it's a little more important than picking up bottles or pieces of metallic junk for the few cents that we could sell them for. Sure is. Now listen, about this bomb, what are we going to be in for? Well, it's got three deterrent devices on it. Here, hold on to this. We may need it for the second fuse. Well, that's a pretty rugged contraption we'll be fooling around with, huh? Highly sophisticated. Almost human in its sensitivity. The word is handle with care. Control room to Admiral. We have a fix on the cesium bomb. All right, let's have it. 200 yards off the port bow. It's still at 800 foot depth. Good. All stop. Hold trim. Aye, aye, sir. Set? Yes, sir. Ready to go. And we'll keep in radio contacts. Good luck. Thank you, sir. 